One thing I noticed, which I didn't point out in the last video, is that when Ken says, and, and I want to add yeah. in really quick, Rebecca, listen, let's play this out. A bump for inflation means you take it away as soon as inflation begins to subside. And you can see Dave jump like this. He's like, oh, yeah, that's not how it works. They think that they should get a bump for inflation. So if we play that reasoning out, that means you take it away as soon as inflation begins to subside. And they wouldn't be cool with that either. <laughs> they probably can't correct each other on stream live while they're talking to a CFO or CTO or whoever called in, some executive, right? I just thought that was funny. Yeah, people make mistakes, sure, but quite the mistake to make with such a sense of authority. I gotta wonder if like, after this call was over, they went and had a chat in the back room because like, we're out here working remote today, you can see in the middle of nowhere in the mountains, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and back by popular demand, don't forget to check out our new resume review service. If you're looking to get your career profile, resume, cover letter, portfolio roasted by yours truly. Well, the link's down there in the description. You want me to personally edit your resume? I'll do that too. Check them out. All sorts of stuff down in the description. Basically, I decided I wasn't done with uh, my points on Ramsey Solutions. That's why I want to show you some clips from the last video that I ended up cutting out because it was about Ken. However, there are some things in there that Dave Ramsey says himself, which are just absolutely... Let me show you one. Uh, you are paid what the position pays in the marketplace. Truthfully, anybody that's got a job out there, you're paid what you can be replaced for, with rare exception. No one pays you twice what you can be replaced for. It's cold hard facts. I know it's mean. I know it's nasty, but welcome to adult land. Now, if that was true, Dave, why would people ever even switch jobs? A lot of people move from the same job to another company for more money. It doesn't make sense at all when you say, well, you're paid what you could be replaced for. Where? At this company, Dave? Or at this other company, which has the same position for way more money? You're telling me I'm just, they shouldn't be paying that? Is the market off or are you just waiting to adjust your market rates? We are adjusting our comp around here and we've had some pretty dramatic upward adjustments in some categories based on what that position pays. Doesn't give raises based off of inflation, he gives raises based off the market, which is influenced by inflation. Then he can decide to do compensation adjustments at every interval he pleases. Maybe once every two years, four years, five years to do a compensation adjustment across the board. So the entire time these people were waiting for a compensation adjustment, they were losing purchasing power to inflation. Which brings me to my next point. I looked around on Dave Ramsey's website a little bit, and I went to the Wayback Machine, and I found his old book, Total Money Makeover, had increased in price by about $4. Maybe it's just me here, but I'm wondering how $4 of extra paper and money value got in that book. Did the price just go up? Surely it didn't go up because of inflation, right? Because then you'd have to give your employees a raise based off of inflation, or you wouldn't. You can just keep them where they're at and they'll lose spending power, and then you can say... We have never yeah. given an inflation raise in the history of this company, nor will we. Uh, your raise is effective when you are. So there's this part in the video where Dave explains how inflation works, and at the end he goes, and that's why the price of wages has gone from $10 an hour to $20 an hour. But here's the weird thing, okay? All of these inflationary things have driven up wages. You buy a loaf of bread, it's not just the cost of the wheat. It's the cost of the guy who baked it, the guy who delivered it, the gas prices that delivered it. Oh, there's some wheat in there. <laughs> and there's your bread, right? right? Labor went from $10 an hour to $20 an hour all of a sudden. Yeah. And guess what? That shows up in your yes. loaf of bread. That's why people are actually switching jobs, because companies aren't increasing their wages for their employees while they're increasing the prices for their products. So the company gets to break even and keep up with inflation. And once again, the employees just have to sit back and deal with the slow loss of spending power. Every year, they don't get a cost of living adjustment or some increase in money. They're there's another section in this video where Dave tries to explain to you why you wouldn't want to get paid based off of inflation. And then he uses the price of a gallon of gas. Never paid someone based on what it cost a gallon, what a gallon of gas cost. Uh, you don't want to be paid on that. No. Because at one minute it's five dollars, another time it's two dollars. Yeah. You want me to cut your pay? It's a roller coaster. I, in half. <laughs> a gallon of gas and a person's salary are both affected by inflation. One is affected in the more immediate term on the day-to-day, second-by-second basis, and one is between the employee and the employer and that employer's budget and the person's salary expectations to decide if that number will be good for them into the future. Normally, people are calculating inflation in that number. And so we are adjusting our comp around here, and we've had some pretty dramatic upward adjustments in some categories based on what that position pays. 
in the marketplace. You give a raise based off of the market rate, which is just a rate based off of inflation. The reason that all of your devs went up in price is because inflation. A project manager, the cost to hire a dev two, a dev three has gone up pretty dramatically in the last 24 months. You're a senior level uh, software engineer, you know, you're six figures plus, maybe 200,000 plus. Isn't 200K still six figures? You know, that, that's, that's what you can get somewhere else. And so if I don't pay you that, you're gonna leave and go take that. And so that's the way the business is, is you, you do that. But Ken just said that's not the way it works and that you're a player if you do that. Job hopping is going to eventually limit you because you look like a flake who's looking for the next hot ticket. You look like a player. People don't want to marry players. Anyways, if you enjoyed this extra little video, do me a favor, click that thumbs up button. And if not, well, you can appreciate the view, right? Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Click subscribe if you'd like to see me call out more of this corporate nonsense. And if you have anything you'd like me to show on the channel, you can send me an email, Discord, Instagram, however you want to do it. The links are all down in the description. Having said all that, the wind is now too much to handle for this microphone. Hope everyone is doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.